Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I am excited to do this video. I say I'm excited to do this video for every video. That needs to stop. Okay. So today I'm going to be doing a video on some of my favorite multi-purpose beauty products. So this idea came to me, I think it was when I was like packing for a trip or something like that. And I'm thinking, how do I minimize the amount of products that I need to take with me? Because man, if you, you make beauty, YouTube beauty videos or a blog or whatever, you know that you can just accumulate so many products, add so many to your regimen just because you like to try things out. And you know, sometimes it just gets to be a bit much. So this is a really good video if you are in a similar situation, if you're like packing, you're going to be traveling, if you just want to minimize the amount of things that you use every day, or you know, if you just want to think of some new exciting ways to use products that you already love. So let's get started. First product is basically advertised as a multi-purpose product, so it's a little bit cheating, I don't know. This is the Evian uh, Natural Mineral Water Facial Spray. And I have just recently started trying this out, but there's another one that I've been using a lot by e.l.f. It's called the Mineral Mist. They're very similar concepts. I really am liking this one a lot so far because it has a um, constant spray. I'll show you like that. Oh gosh, I just sprayed it on my phone. <laughs> Oh, that was not a smart idea. Um, the e.l.f. one is just like a spritz kind of thing. So, I mean, I don't know. It doesn't make a huge difference, but I do kind of like that you can like really like, whew, if you feel like it. What this does is it moisturizes, refreshes, and tones according to the bottle. This is how I use it. I will use it um, during the day after I wash my face and I'll just spray a bunch of it on my face to really get some moisture to my face. And then I will like dab it off. Um, and it just makes your face really moisturized and soft and nice and preps it. And then I'll also use it after I apply my makeup and before I apply my setting spray. So I'll just spray a little bit on, uh, and I don't do all of these steps every single day, but it just depends on how I'm feeling and how dry my skin is. But when I do it after my makeup, I just spray a little bit on, not a ton, just a little, um, and let it dry, kind of like air it out. And then I'll spray my setting spray. And that just kind of refreshes like the foundation. You know, sometimes you can you can go a little heavy with the foundation or the concealer and it can just look a little bit cakey. So I like to do that. And then I'll also use it again throughout the day. If I get home from work, let's say, and my, my skin is just looking a little, you know, a little cakey. Um, I'll just spray a little bit, bit of that on. So it's just really nice. There's a lot of different uses for it. And then one other thing that you can do with it too is spray it on your foundation brush or an eyeshadow brush if you want to do like a wet shadow look. I like it for foundation because it just I feel like it helps foundation apply a little bit more natural and like evenly, especially if you have a thicker foundation, like my e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation is drying on its own and it is full coverage. So I really like to use a mist like this on the brush to kind of just help make it a little bit like thinner, I guess you could say. So I love products like this. It's kind of similar to like Matte Fix, Fix Plus or something like that, just like a mineral spray. And I'm addicted to these and I love them so much. Next thing I want to talk about is um, using lipstick for your cheeks. So this is something that I recently started doing. Um, I think I did it in a pinch one day because I forgot to pack a blush. And um, I really like this one for doing that. This is the Rimmel um, Kate Moss Lipstick in Rosetto. And it's just sort of like this mauve kind of pinky color. It's really, really pretty. And the thing about it is it's not like a matte shade. It, I wouldn't say that it's sheer or anything like that, but you know, it's not super matte or like super thick or super, super pigmented. So you can put just a little bit on and dab it out and kind of just give yourself a nice, even natural blush. So I really like doing that with stains and with different color lipsticks. Uh, you never know when you need it. And I mean, really, it's like the same thing, I'm pretty sure. So like the same ingredients, I don't know, um, as like a cream blush, I would assume they're probably made out of the same thing. So it's basically, you know, same product. Next thing I want to talk about is this. This is my Victoria's Secret Pro Smooth FX Lip Scrub and Balm. And I really, really love this product. Um, it has a, an exfoliating lip scrub down here. And then at the top, it has a very hydrating lip balm. And what I actually do with this, this might be a little weird, I don't know, but I use the scrub just as a scrub. But the lip balm, it's actually almost out in this, <laughs> unfortunately. But this is true for any lip balm, really, as I've been using it a lot on my cuticles, like, because I'll use this in the beginning of the day when I'm first putting on my makeup, and then I'll just use the excess and rub it into my cuticles. And it's just so hydrating and so nice. And so uh, that's just something to think about if you're bringing lip balm, it works just fine on your cuticles and sometimes even on your hands if you can get enough on there. I'll just like 
do a little rub ski. So you might not want to bring your cuticle oil if you don't have to. Next is uh, also by BS Pro. This is the Flawless FX Translucent Finishing Powder. This is actually really hard to find now. So uh, there's lots of other translucent finishing powders. Makeup Forever makes one. Elf makes one. Um, I'm sure a lot of other companies do too. But this actually works as a powder, obviously, to mattify your face. But I also like to use it as a dry shampoo. So if my roots get very oily, which is pretty rare because I have very dry, um, dry hair and dry scalp. But let's say I used a hair oil on my scalp the night before and I used a little bit too much or it didn't fully soak in yet. Um, a lot of the times when I first do my hair, my hair will look oily because I put so much stuff in it. But then after it settles after a day or two, um, it looks a little better. I got a lot of comments on that in my hair, hair, um, straightening routine video. Everyone's like, your hair looks greasy. Yeah, it probably does until it settles for a day. So what I'll do with this is I'll just sprinkle literally like a tiny, tiny bit. I'll get a little bit on my hand and just kind of work it into my roots. And, um, you can't use too much because like any thing that you put in your hair, especially like a dry shampoo, if you put in too much that's white, it's going to look white, especially if you have a dark hair like me, but I'll just sprinkle a little bit in and it works just like, I mean, it's a powder. So think about what it does to your face. It's going to do the same thing to your scalp and to your hair. Another thing that I like to use it for is my lips, um, mattifying my lip color. Now this doesn't, uh, completely mattify it, but I'll just take a little bit. What I do is I open it up and I just take whatever's left on the top of it and I'll dab it on my finger and then I'll just dab it onto my lips. It doesn't completely mattify your lip color, but it does bring the shine down quite a bit. I really don't like any kind of shiny lip color at all. So sometimes I'll even do that in a gloss. Like if I just want the feel of a gloss, but I don't want it to look so, so glossy, I'll just take a little bit of powder and dab it on. And it actually works for like a long time. Like I kind of thought that I would just lick it off or like that it would just come off, but it actually, I don't know what it does, but it mattifies the lip color pretty much all day, so. Next, I want to talk about this bronzer. This is by Vincent Longo, and it's the Casada uh, La Riviera Sun Face and Body Bronzer. And this is a really nice bronzer. I got it in my Wantable box. I really, really love it. When I first looked at it, I thought, wow, this is going to be way too light for me as a bronzer, but I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to find another use for it. Well, I did find another use for it, but it's actually really nice as a bronzer. It's a very subtle bronzer for me, but I like it when I'm just going for like a sunny, warm look and not a, you know, contoured, like sharp angled look, sharp angled, like that sounds weird. But yeah, um, normally I go for like the more dramatic contour, but if I'm just looking for a little bit of life in my face, this is a really nice bronzer for me. But when I am going for that contoured look, what I like to use this for is a highlighter and I'll use a fan brush with it and apply it, you know, on my uh, cheekbones and bridge my nose, cupid's bone, all that. And it looks really, really nice. And it's actually more natural than a lot of highlighters that I use because it is like so much closer to my skin tone, I think. So it just gives like a subtle shimmer and a subtle glow. And I really, really like the effect of it. It's pretty much the only thing I use as a highlighter now, actually, because now compared to like a highlighter highlighter, it just looks so much more natural and I just love the look of it. So that's something to think about. Um, it might be too dark for some people as a highlighter, but just consider looking at different shades and like maybe light bronzers and things like that for highlighters as opposed to just looking in the highlighter section. The last product I want to talk about is another uh, multi-purpose product already. It's kind of advertised as that. It's called the NYX Wonder Pencil. I love this thing. I recently just fell back in love with it. I've tried it a long time ago and I kind of like, I was like, okay, this is cool. And then I like set it aside, but I recently started using it a lot again and I really, really love it. Um, my color is, or the color that I have is called dark. So I think there's just two light and dark. And, uh, this is a nice color for me. What I use it for the most is to get a really good red lip because red lips can be really hard to do. And I color outside the lines a lot because I'm just, I mean, I'm not, I don't have that steady of a hand. I'm not that skilled of a makeup person. So this is really nice to clean up. Actually, what I do with it is I outline my lips first with this because that prevents me coloring outside of the lines that I'll do my lip color. And then if I did still color outside of the lines, I'll outline again and kind of clean up. Um, but this is also really good for just spot concealing. I had a really nasty spot like right here for a while. It was like an acne scar. And uh, this was really nice because it just, I don't know, the spot that I had was kind of weird. It kind of had like some 
grooves to it. That sounds kind of gross, I know, but it was like a weird shape, I guess, and it was kind of small. So this is really nice because it's a pencil, so you can just kind of color around bumps and in crevices, and it's really, really nice. And then um, something else that a lot of people use this for, and I can't, unfortunately, because my eyes are so, so sensitive, but um, a lot of people use it in their water, water line. And if you think about the effect of like a white eyeliner, it'll do the same thing, but it just looks more natural because it matches your skin tone. So it really widens the eye and gives you that bright doe-eyed look. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big, huge thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to subscribe as well to become one of my closest friends. We have a lot of fun on this channel and um, I'm always taking viewer requests too. So please leave them down below if you have any. If you guys would like me to do more multi-purpose beauty products, just let me know that as well because I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve and a lot of weird things that I do with my makeup. So just let me know and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye! I don't need to even use a lip liner when I use these because it's thin enough where like I can get a pretty precise line and then color in and um, I don't know I just think it's super convenient that way and they are very very matte and they're pretty pigmented the one thing I will say is they are 